Hello everyone, this is the Gaming Again, and welcome back to another episode of Katawa Shoujo. In the last episode, we got to our room, we, we met one of my hated, my, one of my most hated characters in this game. I don't like him, but at the same time, he's fun to make fun of. In this episode, we'll continue on, we'll continue on the game because I'm not fully sure what's going to happen, because it, cha it can change depending on what path you're going after. So it just depends. Let's return. Well, at least I don't have to worry about unpacking. I kind of hoped I would I would have, then there would be something to do. It's too early. It's still too early. I put put the note down on the on the desktop and lie down on the bed feeling drained. Lying there makes me want to read something, but I have not uh, nothing was me. I wonder if the hospital can condition me for wanting to read whenever I have nothing to do. The restless urge to keep uh, just keeps growing until I, I have to stand up. Maybe it's stress or something. I was pretty nervous about it before coming and for the entire day uh, the entire day today too. That's kind of oddly worded, but okay. I still am, I think. Dang. I have to distract myself somehow so I won't won't be this unnatural all the time. Tomorrow I'll go borrow some books from the library. Yeah, I'll do that. But for now, the bottles of medication neatly arranged on, on my night table catch my eye. I pick one and shake it to hear the contents bottled right inside, then read the, the glued on pharmacy label. I like that. The say on that guy. Two tablets daily to stay alive. It doesn't really say that, but it could it could just as well. That's funny. I I like this there's I'll explain why why this game I, I like this game and some things that I wish could have been improved, but that'll be at the end. Of, it'll be at the end of Lily's path, and then I'll do I'll see if I if I am able to do the other people other guys' paths. But for now, um, for now we're just doing Lily's. It's kind of twisted. Have your life dependent on chemicals like this. I resent I resented a little but what choice do I have with a sigh I began my new daily rit ritual of taking the right number of pills for each bottle from each bottle being careful to check the correct dosage I lie down again feeling hollow and uncertain and after that I keep staring at the blank unfamiliar ceiling for a long time It, do it doesn't start uh, start looking any more familiar, not even after darkness falls and long shadows draw across my room like fingers. The shades feel slightly more comfortable, warm, and nest-like against the chill that pa passes for room temperature here. Soon the lighter shade of darkness that is the ceiling looks like every ceiling does at night, and it becomes the only thing I recognize anymore. The night beacons on beckons me to sleep and I fall the, I feel the coldness un, of unfamiliarity and fear creeping up my spine once again I keep drifting further away from the world I knew and he falls asleep Just to let you guys know, that's usually a transition from day to day, and whenever that happens, I automat I I unconsciously save because that's what I did on my personal game, so I got used to it. That's what I'll be doing, even if I just saved a little like three minutes ago, four minutes ago. I'll keep doing it. I wake up in in a strange room. Sol solid morning light sh uh, shimmers against the light gray ceiling. I had forgotten to draw the curtains closed in last night. I. This is my room, isn't it? My room. This this is the third room this year I'm supposed to call mine. Various things around here remind me that indeed it's me who is supposed to be the one living here. My bags on the floor, my new school books on the desk, my numerous medications on the night table. I stare at the bottle for a moment uh, deliberately, uh, deliberating until I open a bottle, shake it out, shake a pill out, pop it, pop out of the tablet from the uh, foil sheet. I down them with a chaser of water without thinking about the chemistry. My uniforms are in the closet. I slink out from under the sheets 
and stretch my back before dressing up. Putting on my new school uniform feels like dressing in someone else's clothes. The artificial smell of generic uh, detergent invades my nose, but the feeling of fresh cloth, cloth against my, my back is a good one. A natural one. It feels like a school uniform as it should. It's not much different from what I used to, to used to wear before. That goes for other things too. So far, this place seems more or less like a normal school, except for the people. I think back to my talk with uh, Kenji yesterday. Misha's constant laughter and uh, Sh Shizune's sweeping sign language gestures. Well, I only got to meet three students so far. Maybe there aren't. Maybe they aren't that no that normal. But I'm sure others are. Other, or perhaps people like them are what pass for normal around here. Yeah, w what does pa what does pass normal for normal around here? What do people do? What do people do? I didn't see a lot of kids hanging around after class yesterday, so maybe there are clubs. I w uh, if so, I wonder if I should join one. Uh, here's a topic that I don't like talking about in this, or at least going through in this game, the cl the clubs. But we'll get more into that. All through class, the question remains in my head, so I decided to talk to Shizune about it when we split into groups. After all, she did say I, if I had anything I wanted to know, I should ask her. She crosses her arms and shifts the gaze up slowly to Misha, who looks more preoccupied with trying to grind, grind the eraser of her pencil down so that the top is perfectly and evenly flat. <laughs> sorry, sorry. John, is there something you wanted from me? Oh, I see. Hmm, that's a good question here, John. My first thought is that she doesn't know, which is worrying. Maybe I'm being too negative. Well, all anyways, Misha doesn't prove, prove me right. It's funny, I don't remember talking this much during Heartache 101, but then again, it's been a while since I played that game. Oh, that's right, everyone is encouraged to join a club. A lot of people do so because there isn't really anything else to do. There are also school, school events like the festival coming up in a few days. Almost every student in, in the school tends to help out with it, doing whatever. So you actually transferred in at a busy time. Yeah, sorry. Maybe you can help out too. Sorry about that. Sure. What's what's the festival about? Misha freezes. <laughs> I don't know. The truth truth is it's a local event and I'm not from this area, so she starts signing uh desperately to Shizune asking her to bail her out. Shizune adjusts her glasses at the at the end of, of an oddly gratuitous uh flourish and starts signing hard and heavily. Huh? Oh. Who cares? <laughs> what the heck? I like... That's funny. It's like, so what's it about? Who cares? Uh, whatever. Nisha puffs out her chest as as she shouts uh, Shizune's wor words out at me with a disproportionate amount of pride. Too loud, I can see heads turning to look in our direction. Not so loud. Human beings evolve from each new generation. The ideas, ideals and beliefs behind a festival will inevitably change with time. Now it's about, now it's about delicious food and, and um, um, amusing little games that you can play to win prizes. <laughs> the teacher clears his throat very loudly, batting his long wooden pointer against his, po his other palm. Like a baton, he sh he shoots and point pointed gate pointed gaze at us. Shoots a pointed gaze at us. Finally, noticing where we are, Misha stifles a, a yelp and quickly quiets down. Julian doesn't seem embarrassed at all, although brushing it off without a care. We're in the middle of class, and we should start working. That's right. Uh, what? That's what? That's right. Ichan, are you gonna ask about your interest in joining the club? It could have been my eyes playing tricks on me, but I think I saw a suspicious glance exchange between them. Misha's tone has also changed, although it does that every other word anyway. 
Yeah, I was thinking about it. And here we go. Uh, what? Uh, I missed it. You just look at each other again. I'm about to ask what they have in mind when something dark flutters in my peripheral vision catching my attention. Out of the corner of my eye, I see the girl with long hair, long dark hair, get from her desk and slip silently towards the door. And doesn't seem like she's working in a group, so no, no one seems to notice her but me. I glance at the teacher who, who's looking at a at the dark-haired girl go. Why doesn't he say anything? Hip chan, is something wrong? Do I look as uneasy as I feel, or was Misha just looking at me, look, uh, look at me after looking, looking after the girl who left? No, nothing. Okay, well, we're going to ask you, what do you have plans for lunch today? Do you? You have lunch? Uh, something like that. I thought I would go to the library and pick up some books. Not really. Do you want to ha have lunch together then? Sure. Yay. Okay, perfect. So as the class passes, eventually the girl with long hair never came back. Before I have time to put put any more thought into where she could have gone the teacher informs us that time to stop time to stop working um Suzune look looks more than looks more than a little annoyed that we only just barely managed to finish our work on time I'm glad we finished it at all it's not a contest or anything Um, yes it is, Hikchan. Impossible. Really? Really. Moving your arms and signing at any given time. Sorry guys, I didn't read that. Yeah. I think at times if there's a lot of text, usually reading it out isn't that good. But I'm kind of glad that there is no voice acting in this game because it at least puts perspective of what their voice could be and puts into the perspective of the reader just having blank like with our character since he, we don't hear his voice at all so it might be a good thing Ugh. sorry about that guys Ugh. still stretching yawning and trying to wake up okay that should do it I just gotta slap my face slap. obviously uh, it would it must be so Shizumi can understand it her eyes dart back and forth between Misha's hands and me. I don't know who I'm supposed to be looking at. I'm talking to lose Misha, but that might be wrong. Maybe I should face Shizume. I'm used to looking in the direction of the person whose voice I'm hearing, but really. Shizune can't hear me, but it would be disrespectful to talk to talk to her through only through Misha. Then again, isn't it that what she's doing? No, she's at least do, looking at me, this is all very confusing and will take some time to get used to. It's, it's not a contest, but contests are competitive competitions over a prize. There is no prize on the line. If there's no prize on the line, it's not really a contest, it's just a game. Fla uh, Shizune's eyes uh, flash dangerously with a competitive glare. She stares at me as if surprised that I I'm that I'm challenging her. I think maybe this is a contest to her. <laughs> I never noticed how dark and blue her eyes are. It's truly an alluring gaze. Are you sure, Chan? Very sure. You're wrong because I don't I don't want to be the slowest one in the class. Therefore, what's the what's the line? It's my confidence in my abilities, and the prize is the satisfaction of proving them. I guess that makes sense. Susan A pushes her glasses up on the bridge of her nose in the in in a matter of fact way. I argue I'd argue more but the bell rings and she quickly gets up and picks her her bag looking at me expectantly. Whoa, whoa, what did it say? I'd almost forgotten that we were supposed to have lunch with them. Where do you want to eat? The cafeteria? Huh, that's so plain. Okay, let's go. Plain? Well, I guess. At my old school, I I like to eat outside near the back of the building. It was a good sport. It was a good spot, but I didn't feel find it until near the end of my freshman year. 
I wonder if there's is a similar place to eat. Misha seems to imply as much. Just uh, name Misha uh, pulling me towards the cafeteria, which is surprisingly not packed. Maybe some of the students' favorite eating in classrooms were outdoors. I saw some of my classmates had box lunches. After we finished eating, Misha picks up uh, where we left off earlier. So you, so you wanted to know about clubs, clubs and stuff, right? Right? Da, da, da. Right, he, uh, Shik-chan. Okay, I guess it makes sense to ask first. And here we go. Is someone uh, post put in the comments to remind me to untangle all my cables because there is it's a gigantic mess down here. <laughs> someone post in the comments, please, to remind me about uh, the to untangle my cables because I'll probably forget within an hour. Okay. Exchanging little nods of com uh, confirmation, they turn to face me again, and Misha strains her posture as if she is about to deliver a speech. Ikshan, do you have any anything you're really interested in? I used to play soccer, but I'm not really into it. I don't follow the teams and play and players or anything like that. As of late, I am usually I'm I'm usually just reading a lot. Read a lot. I usually just read a lot. Yeah, I usually just read a lot. Hmm, there is a book club, right? Right, but it seems like they have all the members they could possibly have right now. Sorry, John, it's it's a really popular club. But then again, it's that's kind of natural for the fact that if it's a school for people with special uh, with special needs, uh, then or special that have, that sounds that sounds mean. That, that ha needs special accommodations where most of the time most people are going to be either um, antisocial or uh, or just going to be to themselves. Usually the per way to get them to, usually a way to separate yourself or detach yourself from the world is to read or to play a game. So it's only natural that the, re uh, the book club would be naturally popular. Ah, uh, okay, but more to the point, Hikchan, does does this mean that you don't have anything already in your in mind? Not really. Just I just got here like yesterday. Good, great. That's great, Hikchan. Really great. Ha ha ha. I saw a funny picture on DeviantArt. It's a picture of I believe of Misha as or. Uh, Shizune as Mandark from Dexter's Laboratory doing the ha 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 laugh. How do I still remember it? It's a pretty old show. Why is it so great? No reason. Sorry guys, moving microphone to accommodate position. This actually feels more comfortable and I can actually see my screen. Well, majority. No reason. Well, Hikchan, other than the clubs and the upcoming events, there is one other thing. Student council. I see. I didn't know the school had a student council. That was very melodramatic setup, though, just to tell me that. I'm pretty sure the two of them know this because Shizune looks like a, looks a little embarrassed about it, and Misha is laughing. Shizune quickly re, uh, retakes control of the discussion in a matter of speaking. After all, it's still Misha who. As the voice, whatever she says. Haha. <laughs> right, right. Hey, John. Maybe you should join the student council. They could, they could use more people. Yes, definitely. You should definitely join. Why? Well, for one, we could hang out every day. Shikchan, Shikchan, and I are both in the student council. Actually, Shikchan is the president. So would that make her the vice president? I'm starting to get the suspicion that Shizune and Misha might not exactly be the most unbiased people to talk about talk about this with. As if I'm if as if reading my mind, Shizune quickly adjusts her glasses and signs something to Misha. Of of course, we're not trying to get you to join, just because we would obviously benefit from you joining the student council and therefore having an incentive to try and get you to. So you're admitting that! 
<laughs> no, we're admitting nothing. We admit nothing. I mean, Ikchan, of course, it would it would be nice if you joined, and we we'd appreciate it. But even without that, with even without all that, the student council shows a healthy interest in the in the workings of one school. Yep, it's true, Hikchan. Besides, besides, you don't you don't want to spend time with us after school, Hikchan. I think I read that right. You don't want to spend time with us after school, Hikchan. Oh, don't you want to spend time with us after school? I can't tell if she's being uh, genuine or if it, or if it's just a really good acting. Both of them, both of them seem to be trying hard to look their cute <laughs> their cutest. Although they they ha they are already pretty cute to begin with. I'm not gonna lie, they kind of are. Well, so it's settled then. Welcome to the student council, Hikchan. Wait, what? No, no. Aw, see, Hikchan. Of course, it it wouldn't go so easily. I thought she was deaf. Unless she's saying that while doing the sign language. Yeah, that's my only explanation. But still. Yep, that's right. Uh, though it would be boring if if it went that smoothly. Oh well, Shichan owes me a candy now. You were betting on it? Hey, my life is not a game here. Well, uh, break in the fourth wall, baby. It is a bit of a game. It's a dating sim game. Shizune seems very intrigued by the by this when Misha signs it to her. Then ag aggressively, uh, Glint r returns to her eyes. That's interesting, Hichan. Let's play a game. That's not what I said. How about rich man, poor man? If you lose, you have to join the student council. No, absolutely not. Aww, why not? Well, because you both are on the same incentive and therefore the same goal, which which is to get me to join the student council, right? Yep. Yeah, that isn't my goal, but what but but this means that both of you can team up and I'll be at a clear disadvantage. So, I will have to decline. John, I'm very def def offended. Are you are you saying you don't trust us and that we would pull pull something so disingenuous, D disingenuous? That makes me sad. Sorry. It's hard to tell where Shizuna's influence ends and Misha's thoughts begin. I think that's right. It doesn't sound right, but it. Yeah, it does. In order to atone to of her for hurting a young girl's feelings, you should definitely join the student council. No. How about a game of paper football instead of rich man poor man? Paper football? Yeah, it's a game they play in America where they you make a paper triangle and then you try to shoot it past goalposts that the other player makes with their fingers. Isn't it isn't it cool? It's an it's an ultimate form of competition between two people, John. And it, and it's also played by elementary and middle school children. Hikchan, ha <laughs> ha ha That means it's a game that really separates the boys from the men. More like the boys from the slightly older boys. Anyway, I'm I'm not going to play that e play that either. Just the fact that you know about it means you're probably surprisingly good at it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. How'd you know, Hikchan? Actually, I've never played paper football. Is that even a? Is that really a game? Never played it, so maybe. Shizune frowns at Misha, telling me that she probably wasn't supposed to admit that so 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 readily. I wouldn't say that I'm happy with their attempts to get me into the student council, but I'm a little curious about what the student council does. I've never been on one before, so even even known anyone anybody who ha was a member, so it interests me. It also, I also kind of like uh, Sh Shizune and Misha, so maybe it wouldn't be so bad. Okay, John, how about a, a, how about Risk? That game of the game of world domination. I don't know what that is, but I have a feeling like Kenji would love it, and will, and that'll make more sense as it comes. It's really fun, Hick John. You feel you fight for control of the world with armies and everything. Again, Kenji would like this game. I've played Risk, and I got my butt creamed in like five turns. I died really hard because I can't strategize very well. 
But yet I'm a fan of trading card games, which involves strategy. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to think on that later. Sounds like uh, Shizune would be good at it. If you play, we can play. A if you want to play, we can play after school. Ah, uh, really, Hikchan? You, you can play just for fun, Hikchan? Shiz uh, Shikchan. Uh, wow, literally just add an S, and you got two separate names. Shikchan uh, hasn't played in a long time, so if you want to, there are no strings attached. Well, okay, 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 perfect. We'll see you after school in this in the student council room, then, Hikchan. Wait, why there? Because that's where we keep the game. All right, well, duh. Sorry, guys. I have to move my position or things get really... feels really weird. And also, moving the microphone isn't very good. Because I don't have a computer... I have a chair, but it's, like, not a real computer chair. And I'm, like, kind of in a tight corner. If anyone's seen uh, the Halloween episode that I did, uh, you would kind of know how my setup is. It's really odd, but it works. I grimace to tell them about them how much I do not like this but it's more but it's more for show than anything in the end in the end I agree but only after getting Shizune to acknowledge that I don't mean anything concrete just by accepting to take a look around and play a game with her lunch ends and we go back to class during afternoon classes a long-haired girl comes the long-haired girl uh, comes back and sits down in her seat without a word again no one seems to notice, or if they do, no one says anything. I want to, I, w I want to ask Misha about it, but I don't want to be nosy. After school, uh, Shizune and Misha quickly find me at the first floor lobby and latch onto me, covering their flank in the in case I might try to escape. Covering each flank. Why do I? S uh, maybe this is just the brony side of me. That's a, when I hear flank, I'm like, <gasps> imagine if they were. <sighs> they can't be. Sorry, I'm like getting off topic, but I'm trying to make this more entertaining than just reading. I feel a little, I feel a little offended. I uh, feel offended, but I'm consider. But I've been consider considering it. Nevertheless. nevertheless Nevertheless, I'm a bit distur uh, disturbed that enough people have whoop, accidentally hit the button. That enough people have made a break for it in the past that they that they're on their guard. What's with the escort? It doesn't make me feel very comfortable. In fact, it makes me feel a little danger uh, feel like a dangerous prisoner being transported to his cell. <laughs> What's wrong, Kick-chan? That's right, we're just gonna play a game of Risk, remember? I don't know, Misha. This seems a little sinister to me. I start thinking that when we start, when we sit down to, to play the game, they tie, they tie me down and torture me until I agree to join the student council. Well, that's highly unlikely, but still, for some reason, it just seems like it would be so plausible. I honestly see it. Getting to the student couch room is as simple as turning two corners from where we started. What? That's it? This is made. This makes you guys being so on top of me seem so, seem a little silly. That's not true. John Shikchan says that when their when their life is threatened, people have sh shown a compatibility to pull off superhuman bursts of speed. Life is threatened expression unchanging just sign something mute amusedly to Shizune who makes a baffling face and puts and puts her hands behind her back looking pleased with her with herself <laughs> uh, Misha feigns deafness and hums cheerily stop stop that I know you heard me you have no excuses unlike Shizune Shizune opens the door to the student council room. It's very plain, spreadly decorated room, although it's quite large, maybe even a little larger than a classroom. There's a big table in the center surrounding by chairs and a small desk uh, 
prominently placed in the back that I assume is Shizune's. There is a few a few larger desks and chairs stacked to one side. Well, extras probably. Aside from the tables and chairs, the room doesn't have much else to offer. Just a couple of filing cabinets and bookshelves stacked with old school records and documents. Not not much else. In fact, nothing else. This is a pretty bleak room. They could have at, they could at least have a potted plant in here or something but but the the most noticeable thing is here is that this room doesn't have is have is other people that this the only no, the only the most noticeable thing that this room doesn't have is other people okay i thought i read that wrong are we early no what do you mean no does does it mean no one else is coming today yeah that's right before I manage to ask why why that's the case, she's gonna clasp her hands together very energetically. Hey John, let's play Risk. Come on, you promised, didn't you? You have to. Okay, okay, okay. Do do you want do you do you want to know the rules? We can we can explain it we can explain it to you uh, while we set up. While Misha is talking, she needs to take out the. Uh, lo it looks like a, a board game from behind one of the filing cabinets and throws it on the table. Actually, it looks kind of interesting. After Misha spends a little, a uh, little too long for, for her liking, liking running through the basics with a somewhat vague and confusing tutorial. She then cuts in and declares the game as started with a decisive motion, slicing her arm through the air. The aggressive aggressiveness is rubbing off on me. I feel more competitive than I intended to be when I agreed to this. Halfway into the game, when I tried to ponder how to defeat against Shizune's assault from the, from from two fronts, she breaks my concentration by drumming her fingers on the table to get my attention. She wants to know that you are taking too long to to make a move. Uh, Hichan also says that she will keep you. Keep, let you keep Australia if you agree to join the student council. I thought this was a game with no strings attached. Just the fact that she would dangle that over my head as an offer means that she knows I care about the outcome of this game. And anyway, no! Chuk John admires your fighting spirit and would like to benevolent dictator who will s who spare your people if you agree to join the, the student council. <laughs> I actually played, a ver like I said, I played a version of Risk, but it was the Moon expansion. It was the future version. It was weird, fun. I got to the moon in like two turns, but died. Ha 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 ha! You're so competitive, Shizune. It seems to take to take this as a compliment. I would I would expect the student council president to be more um, mag magnanimous. Magnanimous, magnanimous. I know ignoramus, but magnanimous. I don't know what that word is. She doesn't seem to know how to put the word means or how to sign, but she put pulls out a piece of paper and writes it. She's in a who in re return signs it back to her, pressing her index finger against her temples as if she's physically imprinted the word into her head or into her memory. So then she bursts into a fury of gestures. Misha looks daunted by the pace of her heated signs. Wait, 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 slow down, um, Shichan says you're going to lose. Tell her I will crush and crush her world empire with my rebellion. Ah, okay. Those eyes of hers shine with children mischief. She's, she she said she says you have no chance if you if you keep playing like this, you no you won't. So I have two options, and I've already seen both. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear my controller, the little clickings in the background. My recording software says you you hear something, but I'm not fully sure. All right, guys, I'm gonna actually end the video off here. Um, we're gonna be at this point in the next episode. We shall be continuing on, and can I save here? Oh yes, I can. Wasn't too sure. Okay. In the next episode, guys, we'll continue on in this game. So, 
I hope you guys are enjoying this game. Again, I'm actually loving it. Uh, these two characters are a few of my favorites, but not all of them. But they're not my main favorites. My main favorites are Hanako and Lily are my two favorites. I, I love their storyline. That's or at least where they are. So in the end, I'm going. I, that's why I'm going through uh, Lily's uh, path because I already know what Hanako is. All right. And I want to see what Lily has to do. All right, guys, that's it for me. Um, hope you guys enjoyed in this video. If you guys did, I'd prefer a li I, I'd prefer a like, a subscribe, and a comment. And my dad speaking to me, trying to, trying to make me mess up. Whatever. I'm ending the video here. All right, guys. My name. I'm the Gaming Giga. I'll see you all in the next episode. All right. Take it easy.